Hello and welcome to Meet the Leaders. On today's show, Christina Stevenson from the Girl Scouts of Central and Southern New Jersey. And from Christina's area, Assemblyman Patrick Dagnan. Welcome so much and thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time. Um, uh, the Girl Scouts have been going strong for 100 years. What does it mean for you to be part of this 100 year celebration? Well, it's actually interesting. I graduated the 75th year at my high school and I'm going into Rutgers as the 250th graduate. Um, year so for me there's lots of milestones in my future um, for the hundredth year of Girl Scouts it's a chance for me to reflect on all of the women that have already been a Girl Scout and look for the future of all the Girl Scouts in the future how did you initially get into scouting um, my mother was a Girl Scout when she was younger I started when I was five years old which is a daisy and it was a great opportunity for me and it was something that you stuck with through the years because sometimes people may go off on tangents and not mm -hmm. want to stick with it, but you, you stuck with it. Yep. And do you feel that the rewards are there for you? Absolutely. I mean, it, there was a challenge. I mean, there were times when my friends who were Girl Scouts, they had band or things like that. But for me, it was always, you know, weekends, Girl Scouts, and that's when you dedicate all and your And you time. stay focused on that. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us about your um, your gold project. Your gold, gold, gold award. Yeah, gold award. Um, I'm an avid gardener. So for me, my whole entire project was based around gardening. I brought the students from the Greater New Brunswick Charter School and I brought them to my garden at home and I brought them, I taught them everything about composting, soil, testing, everything. And then they were able to bring their own plants and bring them home and have their own gardens and then together we brought all of that food to the Greater New Brunswick Food Charter. How was it managing putting all of this together? Because it sounds like it's quite, quite a project. Yeah, it took about two years to plan so it's a lot of time and a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. Assemblyman, something like this, um, seeing how the Girl Scouts have, have shaped uh, Christina and given her such management skills, uh, what do you say about the Girl Scouts and to young girls thinking about being in scouting? Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, it's been shown that the greatest achievers are uh, young people that get into scouting. Uh, Eagle Scouts, Gold Award winners, um, and Christina obviously reflects the best of our young people. I, I always say, you know, folks get down on, on young folks. I think they're as good as they have ever been, if not better. And, you know, this is living proof. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, Christina, again, tell us about, like, how you got the idea for this uh, Gold Award. Because my, it seems like such a, like a, a big project and to put together. Yes. Mom, my grandfather was a gardener. He had probably about, like, 30 by 30 garden, very large for some place in Highland Park. So. For us, it was great. Um, I gardened all the time. I used to help him whenever I could, and then my father started a garden, so it's kind of in our blood. So it was green thumbs everywhere around. So that's how you kind of uh, learned about it then, just by growing up with it. Yes. And you're able to give back. Uh, tell us more about the, the uh, you know, the satisfaction of, of working with your hands and, and getting this project completed. It's fantastic, and to see young, the, the class that I worked with, they were about ranging from seven to nine, so to see them playing around in the mud, it's a lot of fun for them and for me. It was a lot of fun, and you get a lot done. We had, I think, somewhere around like 20 pounds of produce brought to the food pantry, so it was fantastic. Tell us about getting these kids involved and how you reached out. You said it was a charter school you yes. reached out to. How did you initially reach out to them and uh, get that all worked out? Um, I put flyers around the school. And I also had a connection with a mom that worked there. I have family friends that go to the charter school, so I knew it was a great little community of children that I could pull from. And how, how did they react to being involved? There was, I think we had about 20 students sign up, and it was a hard commitment. It was the entire summer, so it was, some of them ended up breaking away for vacation and then continuing through, but it was, they were a great group of kids. So that probably helped them with learning about responsibility as mm -hmm. well. Yes. Uh, and what about the feeling of uh, being a leader in your community through something like this? It's, it was a learning process. You have to learn to, you're in charge and you have to tell, help them along the way, but it was a lot of fun and I've grown as a person through it. Assemblyman, when you see again Christina doing stuff like this, do you think this is something that could be on her resume even for the future, yeah. um, things that will help her in her future? Absolutely. You know, you, as they say now, employers look at the, where you get your college degree, et cetera, but they look at leadership skills, uh, completing a project. While I'm sitting here, I'm listening. I'm saying any employer down the road is going to say, where do I find this young woman and, <laughs> and, and let, me, let me sign her up to work for me. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, Christina, do you have a question for the assemblyman, something yes. you're concerned about? Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> all right, I'm a hot seat. So, I'm a hot seat. <laughs> make it easy. Yes. All right. So, um, 
I would ask you to think of all of the Girl Scouts and all of the other students that are in school and uh, is there any way that you could help with a solution towards increasing interest rates in college? You mean the, 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 the loan? Oh, absolutely, positively. What, what's happening in America today is middle class folks are not going to be able to send their kids to school. Um, and I absolutely, positively, and I know our president has already committed on that part, uh, we have got to, maybe they could pay off their loans by doing community service, but absolutely, positively, that should be a pri priority because uh, Thomas Jefferson was the one who said uh, society cannot be ignorant and free. And we have got to get our kids educated and access to higher education is essential and it's so stinking expensive. So that is, maybe when you're in the assembly, you can sponsor that. <laughs> but not my seat. <laughs> Assemblyman, we have uh, the budget going on right now here in Trenton. What are some of the challenges you're facing with the budget right now? I think the number one challenge is what Christina just talked about. Education, you know, these are tough economic times and everybody's cutting here and cutting there, but we really are getting down to the bone. And when we're starting to cut back on K through 12 and support of our colleges, in the long run, it's not it's not wise. So that's my number one priority: is to properly fund all levels of education in New Jersey. Great, um, Christina, tell us about some of your other scouting experiences. I know that there's um, you know the bronze, the silver, mm -hmm. gold. Uh, tell us about some of the experiences. Um, I, I never did my bronze award, but as a silver award, we restored a 100-year-old house. It, we did parts. We broke it into parts and we painted and. It was a lot of work, but a lot of fun. How did you get involved in that, and how did you find the house and organize something like that? The house was on the Oak Springs. It was a camp for Girl Scouts, so it was readily available. And we've been staying there for years, and we knew that this was something that everyone cared about, and we wanted to make it a better place for girls of the future. So. Did you get um, a lot of the other Girl Scouts involved with this yes. project? Um, when I did my Silver Award, you were allowed to do it as a troop. So they changed that recently. So my entire troop got involved. And now, whenever we go back, we always hear about how everyone compliments the house and how it's much, a so much better place. And recently, girls have followed in our footsteps, and there's been replacements in the kitchen. I think they have a new stove now. So everyone's adding on to our little project. I know you've been um, a leader uh, in your community with the charter school. And are you also reaching out to the daisies, the brownies, have you been an example to them through your, your leadership skills? Yes, um, every time my troop goes camping, we always bring a younger troop with us, so it's an idea of passing on everything that we learn in Girl Scouts and bringing it to them and introducing them to things that maybe they wouldn't have seen because they haven't been a Girl Scout as long. I know that the troop, when I was younger, we had a troop that did the exact same thing. It's kind of like the older sister Girl Scouts. It's right, right. So, and they're looking up to you. And mm -hmm. y and you being a role model and example, it must be also a f very fulfilling as well. Yes. Definitely. Um, tell us about uh, Highland Park High School. I know that you just graduated, right? Mm -hmm. And tell us about your future plans and what you're going to be doing in the future. Um, my future plans, I'm attending Rockers University and I'm majoring in psychology. So hopefully I'll be able to help my community wherever I go. Definitely. Who have your role models been through the years? My mother has been my role model. She always has the best advice. She always gives me whatever I need. And whenever there's something hard in our family, she always make, manages to make it seem easy. Has she been a supporter of you being in scouting all these years? Yes. She's, she was actually my troop leader for a very long time. So okay. So she's, she's somebody around. that you've been able to look up to as well throughout mm -hmm. the years. Um, and again, tell us about some of the celebrations that the Girl Scouts have been having. Um, this year for that 100 year celebration. I know that there's recently a 100 year large party with lots of concerts and I wasn't able to go because it's my graduating year and I had graduation, right. but I kind of wish I'd went. But, you know, you <laughs> have to, to graduate. Do everything, right? Yes, yeah. you do, definitely. So, um, <laughs> I know I did Beach Jam this year, which is when all the girls go on to Wildwood Beach and they camp out on the beach and fun. it's a lot of fun. Oh, that sounds like so, fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the ones that I was a part of. Assemblyman, uh, some words of advice for Christina as she goes into college and for her future? Just keep it up. I mean, clearly when she references her mom as her hero and role model, you need to say anymore. Uh, obviously brought up right, uh, has focus, uh, smart. Uh, she's the full package. And she, I, I, can you see anything but good things? <laughs> Just keep up what you're doing. And, and uh, if you could talk to Juliet Gordon Lowe today, the founder of the Girl Scouts, what would be some of the things you'd say to her? Um, I think I would ask her, did you realize or anticipate how much success you would have at empowering girls everywhere? I mean, it's 100 years of Girl Scouts, and everywhere there are more independent women, so it's amazing.
Overall, what has scouting taught you through the years? I think scouting has taught me to be independent. You have power. Um, no matter what, if you don't like something, you can change it by yourself as an individual. Definitely. Um, and, and Assemblyman, I know that you have a, a busy day here with the budget and a lot of things going on here in the state of New Jersey. What are some of the challenges we face here in the state of New Jersey? We're not an, we're not an island. We're part of the United States of America. We're part of the world. Uh, you know, we all realize the challenges that are being faced in terms of the economy and, and jobs and education and women's rights and, and all the rest of it. It's an ongoing battle. And, you know, we just got to keep positive energy. It, it revs up my batteries to sit next to somebody like Christine <laughs> and, and see, see what the future is all about, yeah. why, why we do what we're doing. Yep. Uh, Christina, what would you say to young girls who are thinking about getting into scouting? Do it. I mean, it's a great chance to have, you meet so many different girls, you're able to help your community. It's, it's a thriving community where women want to change the world, so it's great. And, and Assemblyman, what would you say again to young people who are thinking about getting into scouting as well? It is, it is a win-win situation on all levels uh, in terms of, you know, nowadays with, you know, the, the gang mentality and all the rest, what a, what a positive alternative. And it really basically put a positive uh, effect not only on your life but on others' lives. What's the best thing about scouting for you, Christina? Is there one specific thing? Um, meeting girls from all over the world. It's great. Have you been able to go to a lot of different events through the years with scouting? Yes. I've been through a lot, and it's a lot of fun. And everywhere you go, you meet someone from someplace that you've never been. So it's fantastic. Great. I'm sure it sounds like a wonderful bonding experience as well. And best of luck to, to you with everything you do. And keep up the great work. Thank you. And uh, best of luck to you, Christina. And thank you so much, Assemblyman, for being here on today's program. We have many more amazing Girl Scouts to introduce you to. So keep watching Meet the Leaders. From all of us here at Optimum Local, I'm Debbie Duhane. Thank you so much for watching.